This is now the life of Wu Dajing, a crush of fans and media greeting him at a Beijing airport. We did not expect the winter events to arouse so much public attention. Wu was returning from the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics, where he captured gold in 500 meters speed skating. It was China's only gold at the Games. Wu blew past the competition and broke the world record twice, once in the quarterfinals, then in the finals. Now I look calm, right? But I'm actually excited. During the competition, what I thought more about was to keep up my speed and give my best performance. I exerted every effort because I didn't want to give my competitors or the referees any chance. Wu also won a silver and bronze at the 2014 Sochi Olympics. Reaching these heights has not been easy. Training often meant a 4 o'clock wake-up call every day and skating in frigid temperatures. The ice rink, the outdoor rink, was very cold. It would be lower than minus 10 degrees Celsius. Every day after 10 minutes of skating, we'd be numb. Another obstacle would come his way, a serious injury during training. I didn't see any blood. Then I found blood on the ice. My coach told me to lie down. Then I knew I was hurt. I didn't tell my family. My coach did. My parents went to see me that night. They asked for my opinion. They told me to think about it. They said, even though I was young, I had the right to choose. Wu chose to stay the course. Now the 23-year-old is an Olympic hero in China, and he's already setting his sights on 2022. I have put my eyes on the next competition, the next Olympics. No matter how my career will shape up, I hope I can contribute to our country's short track development. And add to the pride of a nation. Francis Coe, CGTN.